Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding Alwyn, um, what kind of hero pairs uh, Alwyn is good, what kind of artifacts and so on. Uh, if you feel like you like the video and you like the content, uh, feel free to like video and subscribe. So let's, let's dig inside and why I decided to choose to take a guide on Alwyn simply because Alwyn is getting more and more popular in a war situations. Whenever there is 100% uh, 100 people versus 100 people, uh, the Alwyn's debuffs and in general poison attack seems very good. So, in order for us to understand why Alwyn is so popular recently in a season 2 plus, we need to understand what kind of skills um, Alwyn has. The first skill, which is mandatory to be on a 5 uh, level, uh, is a magic uh, damage skill, uh, which is dealing uh, 600 magic damage and also deals magic damage every second, uh, damage factor 100, march speed min minus 10%. Continuous damage factor is 100, right? And uh, the 300 damage is from the ticking damage and 600 is a pure skill damage factor, which means 900 damage is a uh, skill damage factor of the skill and also uh, minus 10% of the march speed reduction. The second skill, the um, magic units are getting 10% attack bonus and 10% HP bonus. Uh, third skill is like um, Alwyn Legion takes 15% uh, less attack damage in, uh, in the field, uh, which kind of mean like we are getting HP here for magic units, you are getting uh, damage reduction up to 15%, which means your Mage Legion will be more tanky than with any other uh, heroes which is currently available in the game. Uh, the fourth skill uh, is like uh, Elwin has 6% chance to ensnare the attacker for 3 seconds. Ensnare generally means like ticking damage like a poison uh, and it's up to 15%. What's important and what's uh, most interesting about Alwyn is uh, his awakening skill and Alwyn is an epic uh, hero and it's, it should be really easy for you guys to awaken him uh, in the game while just playing. So awakening skill is three, 600 damage factor. Uh, skill which can uh, give us like minus 10% uh, uh, march speed reduction. Uh, and every three seconds, like you have ensnare, which means like every three seconds you can apply a debuff, which gonna uh, be ticking for three seconds, and the damage damage factor will be six hundred instead of three hundred, and the ticking damage will be two hundred instead of one hundred. So it means like more powerful uh, venomous overgrowth, uh, and with the awakening skill you are dealing. 200 damage per second by ticking. So basically this heroism means that your legion will be more tanky uh, and all you need to do is to attack as much legions as possible uh, in the battlefield so you will have a lot of poison damage spread around the people. Why Elwin got popular in my opinion simply because of the poison ticking damage uh, whenever you have a war against couple of alliances, people are tend to stick together, and you are spreading your poison damage to a like 10, 15 legions, and you are getting a lot of merits out of it, of course. So we already understand understand the skill set of the Alwyn. It's more about staying alive. It's more about debuffs, and it's all about poison damage. Um, so let's think what kind of hero pairs Alwyn can be good. Honestly. Uh, the hero, uh, like mage heroes, magic heroes in this game are purely attack damage heroes. Uh, soon we're gonna get new two mage heroes, and second or mage hero is like uh, support uh, talent tree. Maybe Alwyn will be good with him, but for now, like any hero will be good for Alwyn. Even Waldir and Alwyn can be good, uh, but I would I would prefer Alwyn as a primary simply because uh, of the control tree. So Alwyn uh, as a primary, uh, Welin as a secondary can be good. Alwyn as a primary, uh, Waldir as a secondary can be good. Uh, Alwyn can be good even with Lilia. Like uh, in general, magic heroes in this game are strictly pure damage dealer heroes. Uh, only debuffs uh, which Walin has is, is freeze. 
so like um, I think Waldir can be good simply because Waldir can uh, deal damage to up to three legions. Uh, that can be good too. So you have a variety of choices uh, which heroes you can choose for Welin in my opinion, Alwin in my opinion. Like anything, uh, like if you want to run Alwin as a primary, not a problem, uh, good control tree. If you want to run Alwin as a secondary one, uh, Alwin can be good with anybody. Waldir, Welin, Welin, um, Lilia, um, anything can be good with uh, Alwin. That's why it's another reason why this hero is getting more and more popular. Uh, regarding like talent trees, if you are running Alwin as a, a primary hero, I think like magic and control tree is always good to, good thing to have. Like magic in full and uh, control in half. Maybe you are purely PvP -er with Alwin and you're gonna go fully PvP and control in half. I think control is a good way of uh, building. Alwin Alwin simply because you are just dealing too much uh, poison stick ticking gem damage and uh, control is usually getting you more uh, debuffs uh, for your legion in general so don't uh, misunderstand the control uh, tree here control will be great with pvp and control at the half and magic and the control at the half i'm not sure regarding control as a full uh, talent tree until the end but until the half i think uh, control can be amazing um, regarding like um, uh, artifacts which artifacts will be good for uh, alwin uh, simply we don't have many choices uh, like uh, alwin is a more, more of a debuff champ debuff hero but uh, the artifacts for mages in this game are purely for damage so let's stick to the phoenix eye simply because of damage factor of the skill uh, 2000 uh, what else we can we can always go for tier of arbon uh, magic unit defense legion defense and you are healing your nearby allies uh, and of course you are using mage heroes this can be good uh, to help you to stay alive in the battlefield. This can be actually a first choice uh, if we think wisely right now. Uh, like uh, more time you are staying alive in the battlefield, more ticking damage you are applying to the enemy. So like healing can be good and also all the stats are not like uh, amazing. But for a support type of um, a hero as Alwin, magic unit defense and legion defense, while Alwin is giving the legion HP and the damage reduction, is kind of stacking. So I think it's a good synergy with tier of Arbon. Uh, what else? Um, I think... Uh, like towards of the light simply because of magic unit HP or legion HP I don't know if it fits your playstyle you can use it and the I think it's a, a teleport to alliance territory uh, regarding uh, epic uh, artifacts we are getting more epic artifacts in the upcoming update but for now magic bomb is always a good choice uh, I don't think there is any other epic artifact in this game better than uh, Magic Bomb, in my opinion. Uh, hitting three nearby allies, 1500 damage factor, magic unit attack, and legion attack. So, yeah, this is all uh, I want to say regarding artifacts. Phoenix Eye is a that DPS, damage dealer artifact. Tier of Arbon for staying alive. Uh, Staff of Prophet, um, I don't know, maybe you need some defense for your mages. And if you don't have a legendary artifact for Alwyn, then Magic Bomb is always good to go. Uh, regarding like uh, how you can generally get Alwyn uh, as a hero, you can always choose him to with the daily chests, uh, and you will get um, I think one or two uh, epic shard of the chosen uh, hero. You can always get Alwyn from silver chest. You can always get Alwyn from gold chest. So it's pretty easy to generally get Alwyn in the game and awaken him as fast as possible. Um, to compare, I have already awakened Eliana, already awakened Alistar, uh, Craig, Waldir, uh, Banhar, and now I'm trying to awaken uh, Atheus, and then next is Alwyn. And I'm 100% free-to-play player, so uh, simply just playing the game, I'm awakening epic heroes. So, yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to share. Alwyn is getting more and more uh, popular, like... Uh, uh, in the end of the season 2 plus more and more people i see uh, using alwyn of course lilia is still most popular like lilia walder and 
uh, Velin is still most popular popular magic heroes in the game. But suddenly, a lot of people are choosing to use Alwyn. Uh, this is like a new stuff. I haven't seen so much Alwyn in the past season. So that's why I, I thought maybe you guys will be interested to find out why Alwyn is getting more and more popular. And of course, uh, extra motivation is if you are a free-to-play player like me and you are seeing that Epic Hero is getting popular, it means it's a better day for you, right? Simply because it's easy to awaken and in general have a good skills uh, upgraded in the Epic Hero. That's all I wanted to share regarding Alwyn. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will continue doing what I have been done already for past 7 months uh, or even more. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you soon.